Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. I th want to thank you for joining me today. I'm here to, to work on my day number 12 for my December daily. So uh, what happened on day number 12 was I received a Christmas card in the mail from my cousin. She uh, sent me a little Grinch, cute little Grinch Christmas card here. So uh, today I'm working on this page. It's the computer paper, the decorated side. Yesterday I did the plain side, you know, the back side. And so today I get to work on the decorated side. So actually it almost is perfect. Like you couldn't, couldn't have planned it any better. But this has this pretty green wreath on here on the Grinch card. And it's it'll fit right here. <clears throat> and then it's got this paper it actually has a pretty green, uh, you know, like a holly and a red bow right here with the red berries, and so it matches so nicely. So I'm going to glue this down. My plan is to, uh, this takes up most of the page, so today is going to be an easy page. <laughs> so my plan is to glue this down with some Fabri-Tac. It's glossy on the back, and I want to make sure it's going to stick down and stick down pretty quickly. And so I, and I also want to make it a, I think I want to make it a pocket and glue it down on three sides and the pocket will be in the top. Let me make sure before I glue it down because I have an index card I want to put, you know, I think I might just glue it down on three sides to make sure, or two sides, let's see, top, no, side and bottom. Yeah, and then I'll have plenty of room for my index card. So this side right here and the bottom. Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Uh, she also sent me um, two pictures of her family. So I'll show you the pictures because they're super cute. <laughs> She's an animal lover, a big time animal lover. And uh, it's gonna run a little bit of glue along here you don't need too much with your fabric tack it. That's why I love, I still use fabric tack even though I have the art glitter glue now. This uh, uh, fabric tack, I don't think I'll ever be able to not have it on hand because for certain things it just works best. So uh, this is being glued down right over here, kind of near the top edge and the side edge so that I have some room here on the bottom for my number. Let's see, where's my number? My number's right here. I want to make sure I have enough room for my number. I'm going to put my number right there, the number 12. So, yeah, about right there would be good. So let's put it down. So that's being glued on the side and the bottom. Okay. And I think you can see that pretty well. Sorry about any glare. And then I'm going to glue my, go ahead and glue my number down. This is my number for today. I picked it out of the uh, Graphics Fairy, or no, not Gra Graphics 45, um, little paper pad. It's a Christmas paper pad that I had talked about in my first video. That's the overall paper I'm using in this December daily. And it uh, is the one I picked up at Tuesday morning. So for this, I think I can use my art glitter glue. So let me just glue that down all the way. I don't think I need to use a, leave another pocket or anything down on the bottom or behind this. This is a pretty easy page. I'm not cutting. Sometimes I cut the cards up like I did in the last couple of days. But this one uh, just didn't look like something I could cut up. <laughs> so. And then, it, and then it lent itself. I'll show you what I'm going to do with the pictures. Since I'm not cutting it up, it makes the perfect spot to put pictures. So my number's going right here. Day number 12. Okay, so the pictures. Now, what she sent me were two pictures of her family. And they are... Um, she has two boys, just like me. She's my cousin, and sh her boys are grown. I think the last youngest one just graduated. He, no, youngest one is 21. 
So she wrote all of the uh, a names and ages on the back of her kids, anyway. Her kids' names and ages. Just so you remember. You know, I look kind of like that. You know, when I look back at this picture, I remember how old they were in this picture. And she wrote, okay, let me show you real close. She has eight guinea pigs. <laughs> and she sent it. This picture has all, they're each holding two guinea pigs in this picture. So on the back, she wrote the names and ages of her boys and the names of all eight guinea pigs. Uh, I don't know if I can read all of her handwriting, but some of the names are Bert, Hans, Albert, uh, Ir Irvin, Wilma, Ron, <laughs> just some of the names of the guinea pigs. And then this one is her family also, and they have their picture, she has a picture of their dog in the, this picture, and the picture of the dog is also written on the back of this one. So, what I thought I would do, especially with this one, with the names, with the ages of the boys, is put it in over here on this side of the flap. Let me move this over a little bit so I can make sure you can see. But the, the flap of the Christmas card. But I want to be able to flip it over and say, oh, how old were the boys here? Oh, and, you know, be able to see the back. So, I'm going to put it on here with some washi. And I have some green glitter washi here that I want to try to use. Um, I want to see if it'll stick good enough. You know, and that'll act as a little decoration here on the inside too. So let me just cut a piece. I have this and I don't use it very much. So I need to use it up. Use it or use it up or something. Because, you know, I've had it for a while and I know that the stickiness... They say the stickiness on washi tape doesn't last forever, so let's try it here. Let's see, I need to uh, have a flat space where I can... Ah! Hold on. Okay, got it. it. It attached itself to the picture before I wanted it to. Okay, let me move this over for a second. This page, because I need to have a flat surface to put this washi on. So I don't know if you can see over here, but... Give me two seconds to get this down here. I want it to be nice and proper as far as placement. <laughs> so I need a flat space to get this on the edge here. Okay, there we go. Now I'll show you. Okay, move it back over. Okay, so, let me see if I got that right. Yes, and I have enough to, I have enough to fold over on the card to make my flip over. Okay, I didn't know if this would stick good enough to, uh, so I have a backup washi here too in case. And I can always put some glue on the back of this too, if it doesn't stick good enough. But this, yeah, it looks like it's going to need a little bit of, put a little bit of art glitter glue on under here. I, I, that's, that's probably one reason I don't use this washi very much. It kind of, kind of tends to not, not, uh, you know, stick as good as I want it to in. You know, for journals I sell, I wouldn't want it to come un undone. And plus, it's very glittery. And I, right now, I don't know if you can see, but the glitter's all coming off right here. <laughs> but since this is my journal, it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> let's see if that's going to do the trick. Yes, I think it's all right there. And I can always add more. Okay, so we've got the pocket. We've got... The flip over that worked out well, and now I'm going to put the other picture right here. So let me put this. Let me see where I am here. We've got ten. I want to make sure my pages are in order because I kind of had to pull this one out. We got ten, eleven, twelve. So I think we're all in order here. Okay. Okay. Now the other picture is going to go right here. And this one uh, has the name of the dog, 
I guess I could do a little flip up, you know what I mean? Like that. Let's, um, I kind of want to try another, <laughs> another washi though. That one was a little difficult. I've got this pretty kind of bronzy looking washi, which I'm sure will be much easier. And plus we're not making a, putting it over, you know, the side fold like that. And it, just ripping it off because it's, you know, that's what you can do with washi. You don't have to have a, always have a straight line and have it perfect. There we go. That one's down. And now I can see the back. I can write on here. Okay. So we've got that. And what I thought I would do so I could write about my cousin, I brought out this index card, like I said. And then I thought I would just use some of this. Uh, you know, washi and things to decorate. I have a little, let's see, I have my washi to decorate and my Christmas tree here. Oh, this page is, that's what, I knew I was missing something, so this page goes right here. Okay, got it together now. So this, I have got this Christmas tree. I'm calling these Christmas trees I can decorate with, but I want to have, I don't have to have this whole space, but I mean, I've got all of this to write on. So I wanted to go ahead and decorate this a little bit. Let me see which Christmas tree looks better on here. Either one looks good, really. I think I only want one, though. I think I'll, think I'll, I think I'll do the snowman. And then let's go ahead and glue that down with some art glitter glue. Now, I was going to do an index card in here, but it's one of my, like, <clears throat> antique, uh, Christmas antique postcards. I was going to do a postcard. And it didn't look, I don't know, I mean, it would be, it would be all right, but I did, it didn't look, so, you know, great with the Grinch card because that's so, you know, new. <laughs> and then the postcard is, you know, this is it right here. I was going to use this because I made this one, and then somehow I got this ink on the back. So I thought, well, I guess I have to use that one for me unless I cover that up with a sticker or something for my, you know, journals that I sell, so... We'll see. We'll see what I do with that. But here's some of that. Here's my Christmas tree. Now let's go ahead and use some more of my glittery. Because we already used some on this page. And I want to use this up. Uh, some of my glittery washi tape here. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, you have to peel off the back on this one. So I was going to put some just wherever to decorate. Okay, cut that off. So I have a decorated, you know, not just a plain index card, even though it's green and it's pretty. That's why I picked it out. It's green. But I wanted to decorate it a little, you know, tiny bit, not, you don't have to go overboard. Okay, so that's it so far. Maybe another Christmas tree. Or we could do some snowflakes. There's some snowflakes. That's one that's, uh, this was punched from a cover of a music book. So it's got different colors on there. I like to punch out and see what happens on, you know, just random things and see what it looks like after you punch them out. Well, here's a pretty one. It has different colors of green on there. I don't know. That might be from a, it, it feels like a paper, you know, the paperback, um, kind of glossy on the front, uh, book covers. That was a, probably from a music book cover, too. I don't want to put too much on here in case I want to write on here. This one matches, but this one shows up more. So, I don't know. I think I need a green, though. I think I need the green. That one shows up really nicely, too, and it matches. So, let's do that one with, this, with some art glitter glue. And that might be it. Just a simple one for today, since so that card... The card takes up most of the room. Uh, it makes it an easy day for me. <laughs> uh, so to, then next will be tomorrow is Friday and it's the 13th. I almost don't want to say Friday the 13th. <laughs> I just want to say Friday thir the 13th of December. 
so um, there we go. I need to let that dry before I put it in the pocket so I don't glue it in there. But uh, now I'll write something about my cousin and her family and, you know, memories. We, uh, we're, we are close. Uh, we grew up together in Florida. And we were kind of like, she is the only child and... I'm, I have two brothers, so I didn't, I don't have any sisters, so she's kind of like almost a sister to me, you know, we hung out a lot at her house, and did things together, so, and she, of course, came over to my house, too, so, and we're not too far from age, although she's about, what, I don't know, she's younger than me, so, anyway, there we go, simple, simple today, but cute, let me show you, this is number 12 right here. This is going behind as I write on it. It'll be a little card behind like that. I don't want to stick it in yet in case it's still drying. But our page for tomorrow is this page from the Ideals Magazine. Here's the page for today. Let me hold it up close so you can see everything. I'm going to need some more glue on this washi. It's trying to come up again. Unless I just needed to push it down. But we put on the card, the washi, the number, the pictures with the flip up. They both ended up flipping up. I didn't really plan this one, but then I saw it has the name of the dog. And, it, you know, I want to remember that. So, and I can write all over this too. So I have plenty of writing room here. I think, you know what, I think I'm going to put another. I want to, let's see, if I stick it in... Either way, I stick it in, I want it to have something pretty on the top here. So let me put another piece of washi before we go so you can see the full effect here. I wonder if I can rip this one. Oh, I can. <laughs> so I'll stick this right here and make this the top so that when it's sticking out of the top of the card there and, you know, the pocket, it'll have something pretty. You can see something pretty in the top. Okay. Oh, I'm going to show you one more thing. I think I did something more on the page we did yesterday. If I remember right, let me look back too before we go. So this will be sticking out at the top. Let me see how it looks with the glitter washi. See, that looks better, right? A little glittery washi sticking out of the top there. So that makes for a really pretty page. And over here, oh, yesterday I ended up, um, I ended it where I didn't know if I was going to use a second journaling card here. So what I did was, this was the one I showed you. <clears throat> I did write on the back. It looks really cute with the writing on the back. Doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> and then, so cute, this one I decorated. I said I was going to decorate it if I needed it and, um put it, you know, and write on the back. So this is how I decorate it, just with some stickers. So cute with the stickers. And then I took that glitter marker that I showed yesterday, the green glitter marker, and went around the outside twice, at least twice with that. And so that's how it turned out. I mean, it's simple, but so, I mean, really super cute. And that was just the inside of the card, you know, where the words are that I cut out. And then I wrote on the back. So cute, right? So, and that's gonna that those two things stick in that pocket that we made. Okay, that was yesterday, and then today, adorable, <laughs> and I love it. So, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day and happy crafting.